Hey Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. Welcome. Okay. Oh, it feels like I've been all over the place lately. Um, literally and figuratively. How's everyone been feeling? All right. Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords coming out. So this is about feeling stuck, disempowered. And it's with the sword, so that's coming from a mental place. We have the five of swords as well. Gosh, there's been a lot of changes. The five of swords can talk about anger, frustration. Okay, let's see, we have the nine of cups. All right, that's good. Happiness, wish fulfilled, fulfillment the world, a beginning of a new cycle, something that is, you know, pushed along by the universe. And then we have the nine of wands here. So I feel like this goes up here with these others because this is in a way, it's reminding me of running away from responsibility or not wanting to do what you're being asked to do. And I get that. You know, as healers in this world, whether you want to <laughs> want to believe it or not, sometimes you don't have a choice. You just have to do what the universe is pushing you, guiding you to do. And, you know, we can resist it for as long as possible, but it's realizing that this is part of your path. Okay, so what's, yep. Oh, here's the Empress. Let me get another card with this Empress. A few. <laughs> All right, we have the Ace of Swords and the Lovers. And then we also have the High Priestess and the Two of Swords. Okay, so I believe this goes along with another reading that I did recently. It talked about a darker mother energy and what she's done your whole life is make you doubt your abilities as a mystic, as a healer, as an intuitive, as a guide. But what's so interesting is she's done this out of her own version of love for you. Okay, now why? Okay, that's a big message right here. So let's go through it bit by bit. Why? Okay, we have the star card. We have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Ace of Wands. So this shows me, Pisces, that when you step into this energy, like fully owning who you are on a, a spiritual level, a mystic, sage level, it's, it's like everything changes for you. Your world opens up. You see your path you can tell how your energy affects others. And now let me say this, it's not about being holier than thou, it's not that. It's definitely not that. It's allowing the gifts that the divine has given you to be used in service to help elevate the energy of humanity to help people that are feeling like this trapped stuck in despair helping them to get out of that helping them to realize that it's not anger it's not frustration that causes people to be stuck like that it's it's turning away from our gifts. 
And every one of us has a version of a gift. Some are more developed than others, but they're all different. You know, some are really great at inspiring others. Some are really great at getting things done. Some are really great with organizing. Some are really great at, at making money, being loving, being strong. And it can be different parts of these, but you know that you have a, a gift that's special, that's different, and it's true to you. All right, so let's see why. This is quite big right here, this pile. So let's see. Ten of Wands, Burden, Nine of Pentacles, Being Independent, All Your Needs Being Met, Six of Cups, Past Lives, Past Memories, Seven of Cups, Confusion, Options. We have the Emperor, and we have the Nine of Swords, Anxiety. So, okay. We have the Emperor and the Empress, okay? So as far as that mother energy that is, that is causing doubt, but look at this. I thought this was the Two of Swords, unless I moved it around. It's really the page. So this is about being observed, doing this. Hmm. So let me say this, Pisces, what if, what if you have a mother who is jealous, who wishes that they could be like you. However, instead of telling that to you, <laughs> they talk about how hard it will be. That you won't make any money. Oh, you that, that she has seen other people try to, to do what you do and, and they didn't, they weren't successful. And what that does is create confusion you second guess yourself, right? And what that does is instead of allowing you to be this, this individual that is sure of themselves, like this emperor, you start to get anxious. And what if your mother fell in love with someone just like you? And maybe something happened that split them up. So there was a bit of resentment. Oh, don't do what your father did. It's not stable. You can get stuck. Or, or perhaps, oh, don't, don't do that. Don't fall in love with this mystical emperor because then you'll be left alone like I was. So we've seen all of that in, in movies before. It really comes from a place of wanting what's best for you, but the delivery of it is not, not helpful. So I do feel like your mother does want what's best for you, does love you, however, doesn't want you to struggle on this new path because she's witnessed variations of it, whether it was her parents or her partner, someone she loved in the past. And she wants to protect you from that kind of experience because it was hard for her. But think of it in this way, Pisces in a generational way. Every generation will face similar trials, similar 
burdens, circumstances, in order to work out karma, in order to release it. So perhaps the generations before you, the recent ones, didn't get that far. But that's the thing. That's why you're here now, is because you can put an end to these karmic cycles. It takes a certain person, a certain energy to come into a family line in order to eradicate pain, to stop that cycle in its tracks, and that's you. Because if you give up, the family energy will have to continue to fight the same battle or to go through the similar experiences. If you, if you quit, if you listen to someone else, 1111, so even though this is difficult, even though it really is going against the grain, going against family, you know in your heart, in your soul, that this is something you must do. Even though it's really hard. I mean, it's as, it can be as simple as, you know, being first in your family, to get a higher degree of education, to have a successful business, to send children to the university, to challenge cultural or religious beliefs, to be in a same-sex relationship. All of these things that are quite hard to be the first to do, it's always worth it. You know, even if it is also being a full-fledged mystic, healer, intuitive. You know what you know. And I can guarantee, I can guarantee, Pisces, that if you don't, Go on your path, even though it's hard, you will regret it. Wow, we have the sun card at the bottom. Two of wands, the tower. The Knight of Pentacles going slowly and steadily. Queen of Pentacles, you know, very methodical. Like you're not doing this willy nilly. You've thought about this a long time, most of your life, I'm sure. So to everyone else that might, it might seem sudden, but for you, it's like, wow, I've, I've been working on this for years, decades even, lifetime. So you are really knowing. So it's very important to listen to yourself because with the sun card here, that's what's meant. I mean, and it's right here with the world card and the nine of cups. This is about wish fulfillment, something that has been orchestrated by the universe to make you free, to break this family line or this family drama, whatever it is. We have the Queen of Wands. So yeah, lots of queen energy. We have Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Empress. Four of Wands, Page of Wands, The Fool. So I'm, I'm seeing this Queen of Wands as 
someone who's resilient, who for a while was just going along and doing what the family wanted, but it's like now you're free and you're ready to go in your own direction. And it's terrifying, but also exciting. And this is what you're meant to do. We have the Six of Wands. This is a victory. The King of Swords. Victory over your mind. Remember, doubt. That sabotages so much stuff. But you're going to have an opportunity around this new moon that you're going to be very happy about because you have been manifesting this for quite some time. You are going to be invited somewhere to go on a journey in some way that's going to transform you. It's that rebirth. You're now awakened even more. There's levels to this, right? And this is how you get there. With the Seven of Swords, this is part of the strategy to decide in, in what way do you want to act, in what way do you want to move in your own life. And it is going against the grain, but you don't care. Because you're letting your heart, your intuition, those feelings that you, are, that you know are the truth, to guide you because yes you are this this teacher this healer this way shower and you're you're going to be able to do this easily because all of your needs will be met so it's important that you take time to rest and not overextend yourself with the Seven of Pentacles, this is investment of time, energy, money. Make sure you're investing it in where you want to invest it. Don't let other people um, sway you. That way you are completely responsible for all of the outcomes. It's on you. That way, if you don't like something, okay, next. Let's try this. That way you have this autonomy this power that you're like okay well if it worked out that's on me if it didn't work out work out that's on me too you're not relying on someone else to tell you or give you permission can i go do what i've always wanted to do yes you're grown you are an adult you do whatever you want and you enjoy it and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out and you try something else. So with the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Cups, it's, it's definitely a reminder. Here's that Two of Swords. Don't let your emotions overtake you, especially those negative emotions, fear, doubt, worry. Remember, you can always change your mind. But give it a fair chance because if you don't, you will regret it. All right, Pisces. So beautiful reading. Okay, let's pull one of these just to get a oracle message. It says, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. It is your connection with the divine. No one else's. You talk to God. You talk to your ancestors. You ask for signs. That is the best, best place to get them. Because it's omniscient. It sees things we don't see. What humans don't perceive. What our family doesn't perceive. So it says, the more I attune my energy with appreciation the more the universe will deliver. So definitely in gratitude for everything that you experience because it's gotten to you, gotten you to this point in time where you can really be free. All right, Pisces, I love you. 
see you soon.